What is up guys, Michael here from Story Creator. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about adding text to your videos online. So we have two different options, and I'm gonna get into that really quickly. But first, let's create a new video. So once we click new video, it's gonna be taking us to a fresh new artboard, a fresh new editor. And from here, what I can do is actually play around with the sizes of the video. I'm gonna go with ID Paul. And we're actually gonna cover these different sizes and their use cases um, in a future video. IG Hall is a really popular one right now, so I'm going to stick with that. And then I'm going to uncover the two different types of text that you have available in Story Creator. Once you go to the text um, section in the sidebar, you're going to notice two different things. Basic text, and this is just static text, just like you would get in like Photoshop or, or any sort of static graphics editor. Just a static text that is time-based, so it'll come in at zero seconds to five seconds, and then you can actually transition into another text. So this is really good if you're trying to like make a statement through a few different um, sentences over the course of the video's duration, right? And then we also have animated text, which is pre-made animated text built for you that you can customize the words and the colors. And the reason why this is cool is because out of the box, you get the ability to have these cool, very lifelike animated text that makes for great intros, great for uh, advertisements, great for really getting people's attention. Um, and so really quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and add a background just so we have a canvas to work with, something that sort of looks good and, and is social media ready. So for this one, I'm gonna pick the one with the book and I'm gonna create uh, some animated text on top of that by selecting this one that says super fresh. And the first thing that you're gonna notice is it's added to the timeline at the zero second mark all the way until uh, about the three second mark. And the reason why you don't see it initially is because since the animated text does appear through time and not just by default at the zero second mark, it actually is something that comes in from nowhere into something and then it fades out. That's why you're not seeing it initially. You actually have to move the time cursor through time to see the animation preview. And then in order to edit it, you would just pause the cursor somewhere midway through the animation where all the text is um, presented. And then from there, you actually can add uh, the different text that you wanna add or the different colors that you wanna add. So from here, I can actually say um, book, book club, you can say book club. And I'm gonna keep this uppercase. I'm going to move this up just a little bit. I'm going to reposition that. I'm going to change the color to a slightly greenish color. Maybe like a, a turquoise would look good. Something like that. I think that looks pretty good. And then uh, that looks good. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and preview it real quick, book club. So that, that works as a really nice intro. Then what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to, I'm going to show you the static text feature that can actually pair nicely with the animated text feature. Okay, so once I click add basic text, you're gonna notice that from the zero second mark all the way to the five second mark that this basic text has been added. Now, I don't want this basic text to be on the timeline or in the video when the animated text is doing its thing. I actually wanna move this handle to come in after the animated text. So I know that this ends at three seconds. So I'm gonna start this at 3.0 one, right? So it makes a nice clean cut between the two. So from here, I'm gonna actually move my cursor to make this uh, text active. And I'm gonna move this text up to look a little bit more aligned with that last text. So there we go, that looks good. And I'm, gonna go, I'm going to use the, the styling feature in Story Creator to modify this text's appearance. So from here, the first thing I wanna do is make it bold. I think bold looks really nice. And then I'm going to make it white because I think that's going to look really good on that. I'm going to increase the font size from 72 to 96. And then from here, I'm going to slightly adjust it. And I'm going to say something by clicking inside the box and double clicking to highlight everything. I'm going to say with your post. Okay, that looks good. And then I'm actually going to use a really cool feature called just I mean, it's a simple copy and paste. It's not really a feature, but Square Creator does provide support for that. 
So when I hit copy, command C on a Windows and command V, I'm going to actually get a, a, a copied and pasted version of that text that I just created. And the benefit of that is I get to keep the location, um, the X and Y coordinate of, of the text. And I also get to keep the, the, the font family that I chose and all the other font properties that I had um, added to that text. So that's really, really convenient. And then after this um, text, I'm actually going to expand this out a little bit to be about seven seconds. And then so after this, you see it's the same thing, right? This ends at five seconds. I'm going to move this to 5.01. And then since I have a copy here, I'm just going to change the wording to say with your host and to say my name. Michael Aubrey, there we go. So that is super easy because the position is the exact same. I don't have to worry about trying to align it. It just already is in the exact same Y coordinate. And then there we go. So we have book club with your host, Michael Aubrey. And that's great. So now we have explored about 80 to 90% of the text features. The last thing that I want to share with you is aside from alignment, alignment works best when you have multi-line code or sorry, multi-line um, text. You can actually align that to the left, to the center, or to the right. In this case, I'm just going to keep the center. Um, so now we're up 85 to 90% there. The last thing that I want to share with you is um, the background. The background is really cool because it's it can be hard in other programs to make a rectangle box and then try to get that to align behind your text. Um, but with Story Creator, all you have to do is just add uh, a, a solid background color by just clicking on the color that you want, and that's it. It'll actually measure out the, the width of the text and wrap itself accordingly. And so from here, that looks pretty good. It's going to preview a book club with your host, Michael Aubrey. And so I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to make this that green color, and that looks nice. Book club with your host, Michael Aubrey. So that looks good. It's a seven-second clip. It's not that long, but it makes for a great intro and a great social media video. And what I've recently added to Story Creator is 10 minutes of footage that you can access today if you sign up. One thing that you're going to notice with this is um, that you can also add other elements like progress bars, which I'm just going to go ahead and quickly add. I'm going to move this to the seven second mark. And then you can see that there's a progress bar at the bottom, which is really cool. A recent thing that's been added is motion graphics. So you can add this motion graphic element here. So that makes that intro a little bit more juicy. Another thing that you can add are devices, device mockups. So this is nice if you want to wrap something for like a tutorial style video. That's not something I'm going to cover today. But just, just some of the things that you can do with Story Creator, uh, really cool. The main premise of this video is text. And I think uh, this should cover most of what text has to offer. If you have any questions, let me know. Leave a comment below or hit me up on social media. I'm happy to help. Um, just DM me and we'll get a conversation going. Cheers.